sawdust in here. Sawdust is usually just lying around, but researchers at the University of PEI are scooping up some of that waste and using it to clean contaminated water. The sawdust is turned into something called activated carbon. It's in many household water filters. Activated carbon, which is a, a very effective uh, uh, absorbent material that can uh, use to clean up the uh, wastewater and then clean up the drinking water as well. So that is overall like my work here that we wanted to uh, turn waste and then into the valuable products to help people. Who says they're mainly testing on water contaminated with synthetic dyes. Those are commonly used in textiles like clothes. Eventually, they'll test their activated carbon on real wastewater outside the lab. Who says it could perhaps fix water contaminated with PFAS? The chemicals have made some drinking water on the island unsafe. The drinking water is very important and what I have heard from the news is that in PI, the, some of the community, they have suffered a lot for the PFAS from the uh, wastewater. So we wanted to help them, that to, that then we kind of think about what are the solutions that we can come up with. Milad Jalilian says the research is pretty rewarding. He used to be a petroleum engineer, a job he says made water dirtier. Now he wants to do his part to clean it up. When I was on the offshore platform, we were releasing a lot of oil spills into the water and we were making the, the water ocean dirty. So I was thinking that, okay, I should clean it up. So that's honestly, that's one of the reasons that I came here. The goal is to create a filter for people to buy that can be used in homes and at the industrial level. If we can make a locally made activated carbon, maybe we can make the solution to be a cheaper, so it can be more uh, accessible to the people here instead of you buying very expensive filter from other uh, provinces. Hu and Jalilian are also using the sawdust to create a product called biochar. It can help soil hold on to water better, which is great during a drought, and that could help farmers save money. Connor Lamont, CBC News, Charlottetown.